Now the Seahawks, even at two and two in their standings, coming down to Los Angeles for a big division game against the Rams. And Bobby Wagner joins me here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Bobby? I'm doing good. How are you doing? So you heard Chris Collinsworth talk about your running back days back from from uh, your high school days. What type of running back were you, Bobby? Yeah, I was trying to figure it out. I, I, I never played running back in high school. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, I played tight end in high school. Huh. I was a uh, I was a five seven tight end. A five seven tight end. So but I was I was catching the ball though. You were catching. I was it. out here. Yeah, I was catching, but I still was doing the same thing after I caught it. Which was take it to the house. Yeah, take it to the house. Of Un- course. Much understood. Now you are obviously at the center of this defense. How do you view your role on this defense? What is your role on the Seattle um, defense? I feel like I am the quarterback of the defense. I feel like I'm in charge of giving their, getting everybody lined up, making sure everybody gets to play, making sure everybody's in the in the right position and um, just making sure everything is communicated uh, across the board. Now, how do you communicate that to a group of people who are very prideful men and are not very uh, – uh, there are many wallflowers on that defense. What about that? I, I think it's been, it's been good to, uh, you know, have a couple years, you know, playing with the same group of guys. So you get to know one another. Everybody gets to accept their role. Uh, you know, it's, it's uh, hard to tell guys sometimes, but – Relatively speaking, it's, it's, it's pretty easy. Everybody allows me to, to kind of take control and, and get everybody lined up. Well, I, I, are, do you have any kids, Bobby? Do you have any children? I do. I have, a, I have one. Okay, so then I'll use the phrase. Who's the worst listener then? Who's the worst listener of the group? The worst listener? Um, probably Sherm. <laughs> to Sherm, Sherm. I, 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 wanted, I just want to say Sherm because I like to talk trash about Sherm. Well, he's, he's, he, he knows what it's like to have bad listeners around. I mean, he's got, he's got kids. <laughs> yeah, he's he talking. Got, he got, he got he got a few too. So, yeah, he's talking about baby proofing when he's not uh, he's out there on this team. So, how do you describe the first four weeks of the season for your team at two and two, Bobby? Um, I think uh, this last uh, this last game, I feel like we we finally um, showed what we are capable of playing. Um, the other games, we allowed some plays to kind of get away from us. Not necessarily saying that we played bad ball. It's just. You know, when you have two huge plays happen in the game, it kind of overshadows everything that you probably did well during that game. So, um, you know, I think we're we're hitting stride um, around the time because, you know, you never want to catch fire in the beginning and cool off at the end. So uh, I think we have a good group of guys, good uh, veteran group that kind of knows, you know, we have to – we want to play real well heading into the playoffs. So there's been a lot of teams that have started 5-0, and 6-0, and or whatever, and then kind of get burnt out towards the end of the season. So um, you just want to make sure you, you know, you're hot when, when you're supposed to be. That, that said, a 2-2 two and two record puts you in a position this weekend of, of – well, you, you always want to win a division game on the road, but uh, this is a pretty darn big one, Bobby. Difference between 3-2 and two and 2-3, two and three, and obviously – Going three and two would put a little bit of uh, water or rain on the parade that it seems that the L.A. Rams are on through the first quarter of the season. How do you view this Sunday's game? Uh, yeah, it's def- definitely want to sit at three and two versus two and three. So, uh, you know, we know it's a divisional game. Um, and this is an opponent that, that plays us historically very, very well. Uh, we have to come in and, and uh, you know, focus and, and really take care of business. And, uh, you know, I think it's going to be a, a really good game. Get to come home and play in front of family. So it should be fun. How many, uh, how many tickets you getting for this sort of thing? I, I'm not sure. Is that, is that 15, maybe? Oh. Maybe 15, 20. Okay. And, and who's coming? Who's part of the Bobby Wagner posse this week? Uh, like I have nieces, nephews, um, my sister, brother, dad. You know, kind of kind of the usual suspects. Okay. Very good. And in terms of, you know, here we are just a couple of days before the game. Um, and now you're seeing Jared Goff on film from so far this year, uh, and based on when you saw him on that Thursday night game last year, is this a, a different quarterback from what you're seeing, Bobby? Um, I, I feel like it's a more confident quarterback. Um, I, I've always felt like when you watch him, you know, he can make these throws and, and uh, he, he does well, you know, uh, but I felt like the confidence wasn't necessarily there, but – you know, I think through the course of these four games, he's definitely shown that he has confidence, uh, more hand on the offense, um, you know, seems to play a little bit more under control. And uh, it's probably why they've been so successful so far. What about Gurley? 
Yeah, he's look, he looks good. It seems like he's jumping over somebody every game. So he's definitely looking looking like himself again. It's always fun to play against a running back like that. We know they're going to, um, you know, they're going to uh, hand it off to him. They're going to uh, get him out in the passing game. So it's going to be a, a fun matchup. Let's be honest, though, Bobby. He only hurdles those who are making a business decision. This is true. Those, those that go low or or smaller ones. But you know, I know he he going to try. It's, at some point, he's going to try to hurdle a big guy, but. You know, I think he tries to run people over too. So he's he's a really good bet. When you say two, that means you are you are not going to be one of those making a business decision. I'm assuming. Is what I, I read into that? Definitely not. I would definitely be putting my shoulder to his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby <laughs> Wagner here, written set to take on the Rams uh, on the Rich Eisen show. Uh, do you sense a diff any difference in Pete Carroll on a week where obviously it's a division game, but he goes back to where he once belonged in the L.A. Coliseum? Do you notice any? change for a week like this in him no i haven't noticed anything everything's been status quo it's been uh it's been normal he kind of you know lives by treating every game the same uh, every game is a championship game to him and and uh you know that that this week is no no different okay and and then in terms of the locker room and so much conversation in the off season non-playing season and then obviously where the ups and downs in september of uh an offense and a defense that needs to get on the same page together to win uh, and I asked this of Warren Moon. I asked this also um, uh, in in the uh, uh, couple weeks ago with Doug Baldwin. Do you guys need to have some sort of, um, I guess, uh, not discord's not the proper word, but some sort of angst built up in that locker room in order to channel it against your opponent in order to be successful, Bobby? Uh, oh, what do you mean? Just angst, just like to it, that maybe not everybody's all on the same page, but once you guys get out there, you just roll all or row in the same direction. No, I think um, I think everybody does get on the same page when it comes to Sunday because it's uh, you know we know what's on line, we know what we're playing for, and we know why we're out there. And uh, at the end of the day, you know you're playing for the guy next to you, so you can't let that person down. Um, so I think, um, you know, when the lights are on and it's time to play, everybody's ready to go. All right. And this weekend, uh, coming to Los Angeles, as you said, coming home, and uh, really maybe, as I mentioned, raining on the Rams parade, what do you think that would mean to come out with a win this Sunday for you and this team? Uh, I, th I think it would just be a good division to win. Uh, I think, um, you know, we play in a, a really good division, in my opinion, and uh you know, uh, the Rams are, you know, sitting at tops of the division. I think if we win, it will either tie us or put us right where we want to be. So uh, that's that's kind of our goal. We want to make sure we win the division, you know, get a couple home games in during the playoff time. And this is kind of one of those steps to to reach our ultimate goal. All right, Bobby, we've got a Thursday night game coming up uh, with you, you in, in Arizona. I look forward to seeing you there when it's on NFL right. Network. A couple All right, I look forward to seeing you too. Right back at you. That's Bobby Wagner, the Seattle Seahawks, here on the Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you like that, please download our app. There's lots of fun things there other than just more of the videos you just saw. You can call us from the app. You can email us from the app. Just download it. Trust me, you'll enjoy it.